Hey there, it's Jeff Salzenstein. Welcome to another video that's gonna help you with your tennis. This time we're at the net and we're focusing on how to hold the racket on your volley. Now, I wish I could say that 100% of my students hold the racket correctly on all their strokes, but the number one tip that I give everyone at the net is to fix how they hold the racket because I would say 95% of players do it incorrectly. And what's happening is that when they hold the racket, when I ask them to demonstrate, I see something like this. I see the racket going down and everyone's telling me, you know, what's wrong with my volley? I know my racket's breaking, you know, all these coaches are telling me that I need to make sure that I keep my wrist firm. But the issue is that they're holding it incorrectly so they're not able to give themselves the best chance to hold it firm. So you'll notice that when I'm holding the racket here, you can see that the heel of the hand is well off of the handle. This is a big no-no with the volley, and, and what, you, what I believe you want to do is you want to hold the racket differently than you do on your ground strokes. On your forehand, you can be here, but as soon as you come to the net, the heel of the hand must, in my opinion, be even with the grip, like this. That's really, and even slightly choked up. Paul Goldstein, who was top 70 in the world, was very choked up on his volleys. Got to the semis of the US Open, was a national champion at Stanford. I'd have to say he knew what he was doing a little bit with his volleys. So I'm gonna suggest that you get the heel of the hand so that it's even with the handle instead of holding it low like this and then having the racket, the, the wrist break at contact on the volley. So we're taking it a one step further. Coaches are telling you stop breaking the wrist, keep your wrist firm. But the number one thing to fix it is to choke up on the racket. So I want to bring Max into this video and show some demonstrations on how you can do it incorrectly and how you can do it the right way. All right, I've got Max on the other side. He's going to demonstrate today. He's going to demonstrate the backhand. I'm sorry, the forehand volley where uh, his hand is going to be too low on the racket and that wrist is going to break. And then of course I'm going to have him choke up the way that I teach the volley. And like I said, this is the best tip, one of the best tips I can give players. We've got obviously other great tips on the volleys, but this is one of the best I can give you. It's the thing I always start with. Before I change anything else, I get people holding the racket correctly because your grip can dictate everything with your stroke. So let's go ahead and give Max a shot here. He's going to show you how it's done wrong and how it's done right. All right, Max, go ahead and show your hand. Just turn the racket and show it. Yeah, you see how low he is there. He's exaggerating. That wrist is much more susceptible to drop and break if you hold the racket low, okay? So that's what we see a lot when we're teaching the volley. But what I want Max to do is I want him now to choke up with the heel of the hand. He can show the heel of the hand is pretty much even with the grip. And now he's gonna keep that racket head to the head. Okay, he's a big rafter follower. Max's favorite volleyer in tennis is Patrick Rafter. And he keeps the racket close to his head at the end, but it allows him, because his racket, because he's choked up with his hand, it allows him to keep that racket head up more. So that's really what I want you to focus on. A couple more here. He's keeping the racket close, but it starts with that racket being choked up. I really hope you got a ton of value out of today's short video lesson and you can go apply it to your game right away. Now if you want to be a part of our growing worldwide tennis community and get the best online tennis lessons on the planet, go ahead and click below and we're going to help you go to the next level. I'm really, really looking forward to helping you in the future with your tennis.